Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Get Wrecked. It is the morning of day 21. This is another building I've had my eye on for quite a while. It's a pretty large building, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. I do have a skill point to spend before we get started though. I'm going to throw that one point into Gunslinger level 1 because I did bring the Desert Vulture with me today. Alright, let's... Uh, See what's going on in the lobby. There's a zombie. Dead. Let's see what's going on behind the front desk here. We got some heavy doors and stairs going up. Both heavy doors are locked. We got this ramp here that leads to that level. Let's go check it out. See if there are a bunch of zombies up here or not. I don't see any. Lots of dead bodies, but... No zombies. Okay. Pretty boring lobby so far. Not much going on. Let's see what this door is. Oh. Woke somebody up. There we are. Didn't see him. Oh, look at that. Uh, I think this was a bathroom. Yep. Don't need that. And I'm sure these are all just toilets. Yeah. Alright. I think that's it. I don't see anything else going on down here. I guess we'll hit those stairs. Move on up to the next floor. Maybe the fun's waiting for us up here. Well, they're calling this floor one, but technically we're about three stories up in the air. Looks like uh, business is occupying this entire floor. Let's have a look around before we start breaking paintings. I don't want to wake everyone up at once. Is this a glass wall right here? Yeah. It is. Well, I'm not breaking that. That'll definitely wake people up, even though I haven't seen any zombies on this floor yet. I'll take the lead. More lead. Iron. Nerdy goggles. Sell those. Paper, I'm good. Dead. First zombie I've seen up here. Empty office. Got a couple of doors right there, probably bathrooms. Let's pick up all these chairs and scrap them. What the hell? Nothing there. Did wake up zombies, though, probably in here, which, like I said, are probably bathrooms. That door is locked, though. And it sounds like that's where the zombie is. This one is unlocked. Yep. Just bathrooms. This one appears to be clear. Come on out of there. Let's go. I got all day waiting for you. Come on. Pop. Well, that was easy. And just some shitters in there. More lead and iron. Lead and iron. That's all I'm getting. That's fine. I can use both of those things. I'm good on the glass jar. Two zombies. That's all we got on the first floor. I thought it was risky business coming here. So far, it's not. Is the wall safe? Oh, waking someone else up. I'm definitely speaking too soon. We're only on floor one. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, safe. Talking shit always gets me in trouble. Armor parts. That zombie must have been hiding in the corner over here somewhere. More lead. Eh, yeah, some magnum ammo. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's crack in here. Not bad. I'll take it. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, too. I am aware that I missed a loot stash 
at the Pink Palace. I am going to go back there. Maybe today, depending on how long this takes us here. And whether or not we get a horde tonight. Here's another wall safe. Oh, we got to be checking behind all the paintings up here. Because there could be all sorts of wall safes throughout this place. These doors are locked. And it's interesting that there are two locked heavy doors up here. There were two locked heavy doors down in the lobby. Those probably play a part in whatever secrets this place holds. I don't want to bang into this yet because I hear footsteps. And they're probably coming from down here. Yep. Oh, shit. You alone, lady? Floor two. Looks like more office space. And more heavy doors, which I'm sure are locked. Yep. Very strange. Well, we'll just keep exploring, I guess. One zombie down. Anything here? Nope. And that didn't wake anyone up. Let's go see what's behind these doors. Little office. Another office. Bigger office. We woke up somebody. Shorts. No. Let's close that door. Nothing there. Okay. Here we are. Oh, a couple of them breaking out. Nice. Making quick work of them. Here, you can have the Magnum, bitch. There's another one breaking out of that door. Finally, some action. Okay, those... The holes I made in the floor don't lead all the way down, so that's good. Come on out of there. Let's grab the pipes and the paintbrush. We leveled up again. We are level 62 now. Let's put that point into Gunslinger as well. Take that to level 2. Got footsteps. Hard to tell how close they are. Nice. Oh, they were close. Fuck off. I heard you coming, Kenny. I can hear the meth jiggling around in your pockets. Okay, onward to floor three. Let's see what we got. More locked heavy doors. And, uh... Oh. Not office space. This is like, uh... Looking like apartments up here. Look, you can live and work in the same building, and then you can jump out of a fucking window, because that sounds like the worst thing ever. Imagine that, you wake up and you're essentially at work. Fuck that. Look at this shithole. Here's a kitchen and a bed. Don't be late for work in the morning, down on the second floor. At least they get a crapper. Ooh, something's going on in here. A couple of mines. Which we don't have to worry about. We could walk right on them. Sports bag. I'll take that vitamin. And that looks like it. In here. What the fuck? Zombie. We're good. Anything behind there? It seems like there would be. Right? Nope. A little bit of food. I know, I should probably take food and water out with me, but I just don't, usually, because... I figure we'll find it while we're out and about, and if we don't, then we'll eat and drink when we get home. I mean, you always find drinks around. So, whatever. I definitely will bring some with me, though, when we uh, go exploring for a new city and a new biome. Well, nothing happening here on floor three. I guess we're heading up to floor four. I gotta say, it's 
been pretty shitty here, <laughs> to be honest. The loot has been mediocre, and the threat has pretty much been non-existent. We got someone else coming. From the stairs, probably. Yep. All right. We're good. Yeah, jar of honey. I'll take that. Nothing there. Another empty office. Take that. Uh, you know what? I'll eat these blueberries. What the hell? We're hungry. That's it. That is it for floor four. Well, check behind this painting. Nothing. Floor five. More office space. Here's a zombie. Dad. Big ass conference room. Locked. We'll pop that open. Got this dude sleeping on the chairs. He's dead. Not much. I mean, a lot of leather and mechanical parts if you want to take apart all these chairs, but I don't. Nothing there. Ah, oh, wall safe. Nothing there. Oh, where were you hiding? Under the desk? That's where I would have been. Ah, oh, duffel bag. Might as well check it. Nope. Alright, let's pop this open. Well, at least that's a nice grab. What do we got here? A couple of bathrooms, a corner office, and I'm sure that'll be it for floor five. Yep. Not much happening. Well, let's pop that door open and check behind the paintings. Nothing. Nothing. Woke somebody up. There he is. Let's help him out. I don't feel like waiting. Spent enough time in this fucking building. Oh, that was nice of him. Hey, some food. Ammo and brass. I'll take it. Let's check behind this painting. Nothing. And let's move on up. Actually, let me check these doors. I've been checking all of them might as well. Yeah, they're locked. They've all been locked. Floor six. Looter book I already read. Good on the paper. Let's check behind this here. Nothing. All right. Up we go. It's getting old. FR. What's that stand for? Fucking ridiculous? Because that's what I thought this POI was going to be. And that's not what it is. This is new, though. Both the doors are locked. Um, I guess I'll just break one down. Because I don't see another way to go. So, fuck it. Let's do it. Butt shot. Another butt shot. A shot in the asshole is equivalent to a headshot in this game. I don't know if you know that, but it's totally true. Good on the paper. We got a locked heavy door right here, which is interesting. Dead. A locked door right here. I'm going to pop this open. Office with a gun safe and an upside down painting. What's going on here? Ooh, a key. Now things are getting interesting. 
What'd that open? The heavy door? That's what I'm assuming. Nothing there. We picked up a couple lockpicks. Let's see if we can get into this safe with them. Okay, not bad. Let's see what we got in this area, and then we'll head back down that hallway. See if that heavy door opened up. 25 rounds in 9mm. Nothing there. Nothing there. Good on the bandana, and that is pretty much it. Alright, let's see. Yes, it is open. Safe? I don't know. Call him bullshit on safe. It's probably the opposite of safe in there. Yeah, I'm gonna eat these blueberries. But I'm gonna go in anyway, you know me. We gotta go in, I see a wall safe from here. It's probably a trap, but... Whatever. I mean, what the fuck, we haven't had any fun yet. We might as well... Go in there... And, uh, see if... There's some fun in here. And by fun, I mean almost death. I don't want to die. I just want to almost die. Holy shit. There's quite a few safes in here. Is the floor going to give out? No. Floor is not giving out. Really? I just get all these wall safes for nothing? There was like two handfuls of zombies in this whole building. Alright. Whatever. I mean, if it wasn't for all these goddamn wall safes, there would have been like fucking no loot in here. And look at this, breaking right in. The same lockpick I used on the gun safe. Nice. Alright. Let's try this one. I'll scrap the bolts, take the baton parts, which I will sell eventually, and, uh, that's it. Alright. I definitely thought that was gonna be a trap or some shit. That turned out to be nothing. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I need to go around. Because I already busted this door open. Okay. On to floor eight, I guess. We got steps going up, so this is not the final floor. More office space. Well, here's where the stairs stop, so I guess floor 9 is the final floor. And these doors are locked. I don't know what the hell's going on with those heavy doors on every single floor that are locked. What the fuck is this? That guy was just chilling in the pool. This is the office I want to work in. Dad? Really? A loot pile? This has been the weirdest POI. Look at the shit we had to deal with in the little cabin that I live in. I came to this place, I thought it was going to be mayhem. Turned out to be just a ton of wall safes, a loot pile, and some zombies peppered in here and there. Okay, level 5 battle axe, that's nice. And I guess that's it. Except for whatever's behind those heavy doors. But I haven't seen another key or anything that could open them. This guy's looking a little pinkish, but it's still early. We gotta wait a little bit until we're gonna find out whether or not there's a horde. Um, I don't know. Where there could be, um, a key. I mean, I checked behind all the paintings. 
What if- how many hit points does this block have? 5,000? Alright, fuck it. I'm curious. Oh, it's just a ladder! That ends right there. And I'm sure goes down to the first floor. Is there anything down there? Let's check. We're getting a horde, it seems like, unless another storm rolled in. But we're definitely getting, uh, lightning and thunder. So it certainly seems like we're getting a horde tonight, and that's what we need to prepare for. Yeah, these are all locked on the way down. What the fuck? Hey, you want to help me with this block, buddy? Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I don't know what was going on behind the other heavy doors, the ones that were adjacent to the ones we broke into, but I don't got the time to figure that out right now. We gotta get home. Alright, here we go. This is not a drill like last night. We are definitely getting a horde tonight. Let's get up in the base, get this power turned on. I have no idea how this is really gonna work, or if it's gonna help much with these electrical fence posts down there, but we'll find out. If they do good, great, we'll add more. If they don't do that great, then... I don't know, we could put blade traps around the base. Dart traps really won't work that well, because the zombies are just all over the place. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Where's that bird? There it is. Dead. And here come the zombies. Are the wires not working? Or did they just not run into them yet? There we go. Okay, they're working. So that's good, I guess. All the zombies are over here now, of course. Eh, that sort of worked. Get him, Junkie! That's good. We got Junkie doing work from up here now. And this is just how I'm gonna use throwables. I haven't changed it in any way. Because if we want to add more hatches, then we gotta knock out more support, and I don't want to do that. Well, oh, that sucked. <laughs> I gotta wait for them to pile up. There goes that bird. Yeah, this pistol makes much more sense than, uh, well, any other pistol. For Horde Knight, I got an extended magazine on it. So it holds, uh, 12 rounds and it reloads quickly. Now we just need a better, better one than uh, level one. But I put a couple of points in the gunslinger. We're definitely going to level up at least a couple times tonight. So I'll probably put one more point in the gunslinger and then craft uh, a level four desert vulture. And uh, we'd also be able to craft a level four SMG, but we haven't found the schematic for that yet. Damn it! I gotta be more careful with those. That's gonna be a good one. They really like this area. I think they destroyed the support in such a way that now they're trying to jump on top of the support, kind of use that as steps, kind of like the way I put them in. And then I took them out because it became too cheesy. It's like they did it themselves, and hey, I have no control over that. If that's what they want to do, fine. Fucking let them. Now a bit of fire. Oh, beautiful. 
Is that a cop or is that big boy? Must be big boy. Haven't seen any cops yet. Which is um, surprising. Yeah, look how they're piling up right here. They like this area. Oh, well, we got five more pipe bombs left. Might as well put them to work. I do have some grenades as well. Yes. That is beautiful. Took his head off. Oh, here we go. It got quiet for a second. But... We got a new wave coming in. Let's get Junkie reloaded. He doesn't have much health left, but not much ammo either, so I'm not going to repair him just yet. Just see if he can work through the rest of his ammo. There we go. Oh, I just saw a cop. First cop of the night. I guess they're coming in with this wave. Sometimes they come in with the, the first wave, and sometimes they come in, like, towards the back end of the horde. I don't suspect uh, we'll get any demolishers, but probably soon. With the way we're leveling up, and now the frequency and the size of these hordes, probably within the next, the next horde or two, we'll see a demolisher. In a normal game... With the horde every seven days, default settings, they usually show up around day 49. Oh! I brought the crossbow with me only as a reminder to start using this instead of the compound bow. This, this deals way more damage. The reason I didn't bring it with me today during the day is because I had these steel bolts crafting in the workbench uh, all day. Not all day, but I started crafting them this morning, so uh, I figured I would just take the bow with me today. And moving forward now, we'll start using the crossbow. Whoop. And now that we can craft steel crossbow bolts, we can start crafting explosive bolts. I'm pretty sure we found the recipe for those. Uh, and those work wonders, and they'll be great for this base. Let's use some grenades now, since they keep piling up right here. They're making it easy for me. Except for these puking cops, that's where I'm taking all my damage from. Seems like things are winding down, though. All right, I think that'll do it. Not bad. Another pretty easy horde, even though this thing didn't really do shit. I saw one zombie get electrocuted, and then uh, that's it. Yeah, all the fence posts are gone. Did I destroy them with my throwables? Or by shooting them, maybe? I don't know. What I do know is I'm probably not going to put any more in, though, unless I come up with a better way. Maybe put them down in the ground one block so they're just sticking up and then surround them with bars so they're protected. Or just plates. They're probably better protected with plates than bars. That might be a way to do it. I'm keeping my eye out for military armor now. I'd like to switch over to that. I've been wearing padded armor this entire time, and padded armor... It's good for being sneaky, but it sucks for being armor. So I do have military armor gloves and a vest, or chest armor, right now. So if we can just find some military stealth boots would be great. A helmet. 
And, uh, some military leg armor will be looking good. Yeah, they destroyed an entire pole right there. And they did some good work. A lot of pillars missing, but a shit ton of pillars still in place. I mean, this base was nowhere near coming down. And it's just gonna get bigger. I'm just gonna keep making it bigger. So as the hordes get bigger, so does the base. And we shouldn't have any problems. We just gotta keep up with the ammo that we're gonna need as the hordes get bigger. But that's gonna be it. Got a bunch of loot to get put away and organized, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 22. We'll go exploring, like I said, after the next horde. We're gonna go out and explore and see if we can find the desert biome. And before we do that, though, we will stop over at the Pink Palace and grab the loot stash that I missed there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Get Wrecked, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.